It's opposition time again. Saturn was at opposition this year on August 26th or 27th, depending on where you were on the globe. I was able to shoot it on August 24th, the closest to opposition as I could get, as permitted by the weather. In this video, I'll go over my capture equipment, capture process, and processing process. In 2022, I was lucky enough to have imaged Saturn at exactly opposition for the first time in a decade. Saturn is even closer this year, and it'll keep getting closer until 2033. My shot this year used similar gear to last year with a few differences. This year, I used my Nexstar 6 SE SCT on my CEM40 mount with a Teleview 3X Barlow 523MC Pro Astrocam connected to a laptop using fire capture. The effective focal length was about 4500mm at f30. It's incredibly slow. If you watched last year's video, the differences were that I used my Canon T5i, a ZWADC or atmospheric dispersion corrector, and my Celestron AVX mount. And no laptop was used because I used my camera's built-in video recording. This year I recorded in .scr format. You may be able to tell from the raw video that the scene conditions that night was terrible. Looking at auto staggered, the quality graph shows that there were very few frames in the excellent part of the chart. My other videos were worse, so I accepted my fate and this will be my official best shot of Saturn this year, for now. I processed this image in PIP, Auto Stackered, and Astro Surface. Last year, I used Registax instead of Astro Surface. I have a video on how to process Saturn using those three software. Link in the description below. That video also has an example video that you can download and practice, which has been downloaded a few dozen times. It's past opposition now, but Saturn will be in prime viewing location for the next few months, so don't think you missed it yet. Next opposition is Neptune on September 19th. I don't know if I'll have time to capture it, but if you do and you have a telescope and you, that can go deep, give it a shot. Otherwise, you can wait for Jupiter's opposition in November, which should be much easier to see. Until next time, clear skies.